Hi, I'm Travis Clapp, the CEO and co-founder at Coursebooks AI. We are often asked, how can I connect my course to an existing learning management system like Canvas or Moodle or Schoolbox? And the answer is you need to publish your course using LTI. In this case, version 1.3 is what we support. And as long as you have a compatible learning management system, you'll be able to create a seamless learning experience, including sign up and registration, viewing and reporting of your courses within your existing learning management system. Shozab, one of our team members, will step you through in the upcoming videos, firstly, how to set up your LTI publishing connection from Coursebox into Canva by Instructure. And then he'll go through Moodle. And of course, you can skip forward. And finally, he will go through Schoolbox learning management system or student management system, I should say, including deep linking and how that works. So I hope this is useful. You can also refer to the course box LMS super administrator user manual or ask Bob LMS, our friendly chatbot. Thank you. In this video, I am explaining how to connect Moodle with the course box using LTI 1.3. You have to go to site administration external uh, select uh, go to plugins then external tools and click on manage tools here you need to add lti advantage uh, yes, click on configure tool manually name it course box dev1 the tour url would be uh, you can see when you click on add new lms you will see all these information just copy uh, this url you can copy the whole url as well but we are setting up deep linking so we don't need to copy the whole url public key set should go uh, should go here login url should go here redirect uri will go here support deep linking it is saying that uh, if we leave it empty it will use this url however you can set up deep linking url as well if you want to do otherwise it is optional if it is empty it will use this url so we can leave it here uh, we need all we need to allow this so that uh, our system can uh, our system can uh, post our grades and now save it after it you will see all these information enabled for you so you can set up these issuer will go here model model test to client id would be can this is public key set url access token will go here and authentication request will go here so these are the things you can save it so this is connected now in the model you near you can uh, enable edit mode go to courses and edit mode and you can add an activity external tool select external tool select our latest integration select content I need to shoot in 
so it is getting the information it will show the courses list to select Select post box dash one. Now it is loading. So we can select the pizza one. At least it is loading at this moment. So it is selecting. So you can see it has selected this one as actually uh, this URL can be pasted here as well Moodle has this option but via deep linking we press the select content and it show the list of courses which we can select and set it set the grades these are grade to pass you can set 60 competency and other information you can set now save and display So course is loading. It's model is working slow. Okay, next, next, next. Now you have to you have a quiz to do. Now press finish. Go to dashboard. My courses. Uh, we should open grades. This is the latest one. You can see the hundred. How to easily so you can see that this is the cooking pizza 101 and in the grade book it has posted 100 grade for this because we uh, secured 100 marks here yeah. so in the model uh, we have reviewed the content selection via deep linking and grades are post uh, being posted so this thing is also uh, working properly in this video i am explaining about how to set up um, course box uh, with uh, with the uh, canvas lms let me delete, delete this previous integration Uh, when you go to admin you will see developer key so in canvas we have to uh, developer key first let's name it course box dev test 2 
and we have to set all these things we can get these from here in the in our course box add new lms you can set launch url here you have to set public key set to to you need to select public check jwk url because we have url initiation url will go here and redirect url will go here for uh, grading we need to enable all these especially this one assignment data gradebook associated these are uh, i have enabled all these for deep linking you have to select deep link request and set this url let me refresh it deep link url so this is the deep link url now press save so this thing is saved as the integration now in the course box we will set so canvas lms to issuer will be canvas and structure these information are actually not given here uh, these are from uh, different locations so i know these information this is the author authorization url this is the token url and this is the jw case we have these here i have all these now after it you can save it you can check if they are saved properly okay. so the integration is done now in the courses we need to uh, go to courses that's was i have this created this course go to admin add this the this as the application you need to by client id what was our client id we we added this client id here so by using client id we can get okay first we need to enable the client client application the developer integration we did so here you have to enable it basically now it is enabled now you can add it here by client id this is the client id now submit and install this application so application is installed now go to course box sorry go course uh, we can add new one here dev test 2 this is a dev test 2 now it is uh, initiating deep linking it should show me the courses let's select the pizza course okay now i have selected it the course is there you can see the url is added name let me name it too so this course is added i should remove the previous one the new course is added here now is make it published 
it is published i have uh, created new account uh, so as the learner here you can see this is the learner account so you can see that here should be all courses test courses this is the pizza 101 it is saying that it is 400 points now some perform it actually i performed it before so let's restart it <coughs> get started one answer one answer one so one so now press the finish so you can see the code Yeah, new marks are there you can see that our latest score is posted here one was the before and uh, i can just try open it what twelve number zero eleven and twenty one forty seven So this one is the latest one, I think. Okay, so uh, actually grade is being posted uh, now. And deep linking is uh, explained here as well. Hi, in this video, I am explaining about how to set up LTI tool with Schoolbox. In Schoolbox, you have to uh, go to administrator. Uh, go to LTI tools here you can set up uh, this information uh, let me show you the new one name it course pause dev 4 test 4 select the 1.3 version here in the course box you sh need to select uh, press add new lms and then copy the launch url key set url initiation url and redirect url you can place that for deep linking you have to select this one deep linking will allow you to your teacher to select the course from their own portal so it is very good functionality of LTI now create the tool once the tool is created you will get all this information copy it and fill it here uh, write the name the school box for client id authentication url jwt url and access token now check it if all are right then Safe. So our integration is saved with the name Schoolbox 4. We have already 
uh, set up the school box with the LTI to course box. Now we can uh, create the course here. Go to the school box and go to his courses. Select this course. I have already created. Now remove the old course. Create new third party assessment. Name it test course select our new latest integration course work dev test 3 sorry 4 you can see that it is loading and basically it is our deep linking it is flowing, coming from the now you can select the course from here there are a lot of course so now now select this one pisa 101 once you select it it will set this course here this is called deep linking now edit we can write grading 50% and then create the course so this is the basically deep linking and uh, deep linking was uh, it is allowing teacher to select the course while creating the course so this thing is implemented and working with the school box now let's see now let's see uh, the how uh, this course can be performed by the student so here we need to import this course to class like 3 IH class course box dev <coughs> course box dev now set a due date so that it could be available this it can be available to us now import it <clears throat> now select the student 3IH you can see our course which we created just in today uh, no what was where was it ok I think this one is the let us work Let me check about confirm about what was our course. Our course was test course. Okay. Now go to the student. Three I H and attempt a assessment. It should start the course. So the course is started actually uh, this is coming from the course box so we have already done this course before with this uh, student so that's why it is showing completed now get started i think oh now i have to get started again to pass it so this is done finish it now see that and how the store is you can see that i have attempted and 100 by 100 is my score so this is the score grading setting uh, so the course has uh, actually via lti 1.3 the course box has posted the grades and status uh, to the uh, school box elements so this task is already uh, working with the school box okay one thing i would like to show as well uh, I have created 
uh, added link because it is very important let's suppose uh, while setting these thing uh, if you have made it, made any mistakes so you can just uh, to fix it like uh, let's suppose um, change authentication URL you can see that it is updated name it five this is all about editing the existing integration and deletion is already there okay